the rim. Recently, I returned from Indiana where I was able to experience all the All-Star Weekend events in person along with the dunk contest, which was, as usual, pretty lackluster. And although it's been a very, very long time since I watched the 2016 dunk contest full and through, I know that one wasn't lackluster. As a matter of fact, I believe it's the greatest of all time. So since it's still technically All-Star break, I did want to get this video off where the goal is to go through and watch it as if it's my first time seeing it. Which it did feel like, because I, I did not remember the scores. I didn't remember why y'all were saying Aaron Gordon got robbed. That's what we'll see here, though. Did he actually get robbed? We're not watching Will Barton and Andre Drummond. <laughs> we, we, cut, we cut straight to the chase. 1v1. I can only imagine what this would have been like to experience in real life. And if you're looking to experience games in real life, or even All-Star Weekend next year, SeatGeek is the perfect app for you. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. For most of you, it'll be very convenient for the NBA as the season finishes up and the playoffs ensue. I've attended numerous regular season games, playoff games, and it's extremely convenient because when you're looking at the ticket, you can also get a view of where you'll actually be sitting, what you'll be able to see. Overall, just a really simple experience. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good and red means bad. Also, every Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Of course, as usual, I've come through with a code, so use code DOM2K for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DOM2K. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. So AG immediately came out here with the showmanship. I totally forgot about the suit looking all spiffy. And it's good. He just gets straight into it. Because from what I remember, he does not miss this first attempt. And by now, oh yeah. <laughs> That's a fire first dunk. The thing is, I'm conditioned to believe I have seen every single dunk ever in a dunk contest. Besides some of the stuff Mac McClung has done in the last two years. I feel like I've seen this, but with his size, his strength, his power. And you consider that being a first dunk. That is a great first dunk. It is a fantastic first dunk. And of course, in line with uh, some crazy foreshadowing, he gets nines across the board. And then here comes Zach. Actually daps Drake up, and I'm glad we're watching this from the beginning so I could just go dunk for dunk. We can literally just look at these two and say what was better almost every time. He's going to give himself a little toss. Just a little warm up toss. Nothing crazy. Not an attempt. Just getting that right. And bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. First dunk. And I think what I like about this is immediately you can see the juxtaposition between these two. AG had the, the real raw power at the beginning. And Zach Levine's was just really sleek and quick and smooth. With the toss too is just crazy though. He did that so easy. I didn't realize so I just saw this angle. He goes behind the back and then kind of with the hand, the reverse. That's what I'm saying. See, it happens so fast. And yeah, right here from the jump, Zach does get perfect tens. One over, for each judge anyways, one over Aaron Gordon. Drummond say, yep, <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> All right, so we fast forward a little bit ahead. We are just pretending it is these two going for dunk for dunk because that's how everyone's going to remember it. And uh, okay, this is what, what is this? Because mascots on the other side. Oh, okay, there it is. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, we already know. On the hoverboard, can you get any more 2016? So stuff is holding it. And is this first try? Oh, oh, I did not remember. It was not the first try. He tried to go under the legs, actually. All right, here goes some things you probably don't remember. Does he get it on try number two? I forgot all about this dunk. I thought he was about to go under the legs here. Man, I'm telling you, 2016 is almost 10 years ago. Memory gets hazy. He went under the legs, jumped over his mascot on a hoverboard, holding the ball. Oh, no, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, no, that is crazy. And you couldn't tell from this angle, I don't think. And the first time that it went. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. If this got anything other than full tens, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be real mad. Yeah, so oh 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 he's a fucking hater. Oh he's a fucking hater. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go look at what Shaq's explanation was for that. How was like bro, come on man. That's a fifth that's an easy 50. It was creative. He it took him one try, it took him two tries, but still. Like for how we judge these dunk contests and the things that we see, even up to 2016, because they hadn't been good for some time. It's always hit or miss. That's a 50. Oh my gosh, bro. Did Shaq and Wade conspire? All right, so Zach for his second dunk. I, I'm maybe his score is gonna beat AGs on this one. I don't, however, think the dunk is gonna beat it. Just it'll be hard. All right, so running start, toss, and and a miss. Oh yeah, this automatically is already the concept itself is not as is not as cool. I don't think as Aaron Gordon's, and uh, he's already missed as well. There, there's no chance that this is a better dunk, regardless. I mean, it's fire. Don't get me wrong. Don't. <laughs> I don't want to discredit what he just went out there and did. He got that on the second try. I believe his foot was right on the free throw line. Perfect catch. That's a fire dunk. I will, however, be mad if this got a 50 and Aaron Gordon's didn't, but that was fire. Okay. All right. So at least he was consistent. And once again, I can't really hear what he's saying right here. Oh, first try. Okay. He's talking about the first tries. Ah, I see. At least he was consistent. I will give him that. Damn, man. You look at some of what we've gotten since then. We've had a literally a couple of good dunk contests since this one but bro comparatively these are like 70s all right is he going solo for this one or all right he uh yeah this is the one <laughs> this is the one so you bring stuff out hold with one arm it's on the hoverboard and he starts spinning i want to know how many of y'all have busted y'all ass on the hoverboard before so that's a skill too and bro all right let's see what Shaq got to say now there we go he said that's what i'm talking about <laughs> that is a 50 and some change creativity toughness first try i once again don't think zach can get a better dunk off than this i i don't know spinning time it hand behind the head Oh my goodness. I have no doubt in my mind already here. Just a couple of minutes through, this is easily the greatest dunk contest of all time. I, no disrespect to the legends. This was the greatest one. I can tell you right now. And there goes the 50. Matumbo's reactions <laughs> in these dunks are phenomenal. All right, Zach going solo dolo here. No props, no nothing. Everyone's on their feet now. They notice what they're witnessing and ah! So that's the thing, right? This can't be a 50 because it's so similar to what ag just did with none of the the props still a very hard dunk got it on the first try it's fire but it's a toss he went and got it that's a beautiful dunk i think in another contest this is a 50. in this one with who he's competing against i would probably give it a nine just because he was outdid right before this and i don't remember what the score was so let's see let's see wow uh i mean i'm conflicted here because i absolutely think it's a 50 dunk i just think in competition with what happened 30 seconds before that i don't know if you you got to use you got to be able to use some context you have to be able to use some context and using that i don't know i would have been able to give that a 50. still though that wins a lot of recent contests I don't think I realized how many times AG used the mascot here. Is this the one? Oh, this is the one. This is the one. That's a 60. First try again. Creativity again. Under the legs. Not just under the legs. Under the legs. Bro. He sat down in air and cleared him on a hoverboard. Oh, I'm, you know what? Just sitting here watching this, because this is the first time, like I said at the beginning of the video, I have rewatched this in many, many years. 
I have to see what Zach Levine did. That he was able to win this. I already have a questionable. I think we have two. We're up to two questionable judging moments by now. I don't think Zach should have got a 50 comparatively on the next one. And yeah, predictably a 50. They, whoever gives that any less than a 10 would have been chased out of the building. Okay, so I think I know what this is. Starting from the other side of the court. And... Oh! All right, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I was expecting him just to jump from the free throw line. This is why I have been a contrarian to the robbery talks over the years. Is because he just windmilled from the free throw line, my boy. <laughs> he windmilled. He didn't just jump. He did, and he got it on the first try. Let's see where his foot is. His foot is about the same place it was when he jumped and caught it. But he windmilled it. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Despite what AG just did, that is a 50 in its own right. The other one was the same dunk. I think it should have been less. This one is just his own 50. I think even on Gordon's face, you can see he's like, yeah, now we're going to have to keep going. <laughs> All right, so Zach gets his deserving 50. AG comes here and gets a toss off the backboard. And these are just so easy for him. At his size and the power he's using, I think that's what really helped the effects when he was in the dunk contest. We, we really lost a good one when he decided to stop doing these. Although I will say I'm glad because you just never know. That's Alfred Payton, by the way, if I said Andre Miller. That's fire. Am I giving that a 50? Oof. I, 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 hmm. Compared to what we've seen tonight, once again, I'm using context. Would I give, yeah, I, I probably would. His head is at the rim. <laughs> His head is at the rim. It's a perfect bounce. He caught it. Basically reverse windmill type shit. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's actually no question. That's a 50. <laughs> And it looks like Shaq agrees. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, you have to. There's just, after you see the replay, you see everything that went into that. You can't argue. All right, so Levine is starting from behind the goal here. I realize I remember the mascot dunks more than I remember almost anything. Gets a toss and God damn. <laughs> Yo, this dunk contest was so good. And look at Aaron, even he's going, yeah, all right, we still going because he, ju he just tied me. <laughs> that is also a very clear 50. Behind, under the legs. Come on, yeah, you just, after the toss as well, there's just nothing to be argued with. This is also a 50. Yeah, and deservingly so, it did get a 50. This is what I did remember about this dunk contest. It quite literally just turned into a dunk off. Who was going to be the first person to not get a 50? Is it Aaron Gordon here? Let's see. Toss off the shot clock, NBA Live 2005 style. Also, you get the feeling he's just trying to invent stuff now. This is where it got tough, right? He didn't like the shot clock idea. Yeah, it, this is not NBA Live 05, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, bro. And you know what's really crazy is just in the flow of this, you once again get the feeling he just had to invent some shit because the dunk contest was dragging on. And so he did. And when you see this replay, this guy took it behind his head and down tomahawked it on a reverse. That is also a very clear 50. This dunk contest is just such that, you know, somebody had to lose. Wow. What? No, 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 no. Rewind, rewind. Huh? He got three nines and Shaq was one of the tens. What on God's green earth? How could you even justify not giving that a 50. Okay, so at this point, you could maybe make the argument, oh, we're using context of previous dunks. And looking at the dunks he did earlier, maybe that one wasn't as creative, but the degree of difficulty on that, he just came up with it on the fly. And now I can guess it's over because Zach only needs a 48. So as long as he just does something humanly impossible, he probably wins. And here we go. Ah! Under the legs from the free throw line. <laughs> and I, I do want to see where his foot is compared to the other two times that he did it. Either way, I can tell you that's that's no less than a 49. That's a 50. That's that's probably a 50. 
Oh, okay. His foot was definitely a good bit over where it was. However, you go under the legs from that distance. I don't think anybody's going to say anything. However, I will say it does give the vibes that the judges just got tired. Because how the hell was Aaron Gordon's last dunk? Also not a 50. And so when you see it come up, yeah, it's all tens. And that's all she wrote. And so now you can see why people say Aaron Gordon was robbed. It wasn't that Zach Levine wasn't amazing. It was that there was just a couple of questionable scores here at the beginning. I think the most questionable was the last round, though. I think those were 250 dunks and it should have kept going. And then who knows? Maybe Zach Levine still would have won. Then maybe there's a sliver for you to make the argument. It should not have come to that point anyways. I'd love to know what you think in the comments. All I know is that is the greatest dunk contest of all time.